what should people do if they have to wait for the appointment if it's too long? Okay, so I think there's, some, there's quite a few things that people can try and do. So one is I think it's really important that you try and talk to someone about um, what's going on for you. Um, if you can't talk to someone or there's, there's not many people around to talk to, keeping a diary is a really good idea because then when you do get your appointment there's some um, useful things that you can um, bring along with you. I think it's really also really quite important not to try and avoid doing things. So if you're avoiding school or avoiding seeing your friends or avoiding talking to people, it's really good if you can try not to do that and try and get on with people and try and do the best you can to keep your life going as much as normal as possible. Okay, There are some things that outside of that you can do, like try and um, get some help from school people, try and get some help from community groups that might be around. And there's also some information on um, cognitive behaviour therapy and um, other self-help things on the internet, on apps, um, especially one called MindEd, which is um, a website that gives you lots of tips and ideas about how to help yourself. And the Young Minds website's got loads of good tips about how to help yourself to try and cope with while you're waiting. But the most important thing is if anything changes, so you're getting worse or you think things are getting more difficult, is talk to someone who can let CAMS know. Um, and that might mean that you get either seen quicker or you get some help um, short term while you're waiting.